I hope you guys are all having an excellent day. Easy Auto Fix here, and today we're gonna learn symptoms of a bad head gasket. But first, I wanna thank All Data for sponsoring today's video. All Data has online step by step repair manuals that have everything you need to safely diagnose and repair the vehicle yourself. They have over 30,000 vehicle repair manuals starting from 1982 all the way to 2022 based on the specific make, model, and engine. As you can see here, you have access to trouble codes, service tables, TSBs, electrical diagrams, specifications, maintenance, and much more. So if you want to save a lot of money on mechanical repairs and become a DIYer, check out the link in the description below. Also, AllData was kind enough to offer a free 3-year subscription plan to one of you guys. If you want to enter, check out the rules in the description below. The purpose of the head gasket is to seal the combustion chamber, coolant passages, and engine oil passages. This prevents them from mixing together or leaking out of the engine. The location of the head gasket will be between the engine block and the cylinder head. Some engines have two cylinder heads, so they'll have two gaskets. The first symptom you could be experiencing with your car is a mixture of oil and coolant. You'll notice a cappuccino color on the dipstick. In some situations, you'll see a milky substance when removing the engine cap or coolant cap. This happens when the head gasket's torn, leaking coolant into the oil passages or vice versa. The second symptom is an overheating engine. You'll notice the temperature gauge climb up and in worse situations, the engine will start smoking. This can happen if the head gasket's torn, allowing the coolant to transfer from the passages into the combustion chamber where it gets burned off in the process. If you keep having to refill your coolant but don't see an external leak, this could be the reason why. On the flip side, the head gasket could be torn from the edge, allowing coolant to leak externally. The third symptom is thick white smoke coming from the tailpipe. This happens when coolant burns off in the combustion chamber. This creates thick white smoke, sending it down through the exhaust manifold and out the tailpipe. It's important not to confuse this with white smoke that comes out when it's cold outside. This is a process of condensation and is totally normal. The fourth symptom is poor performance. Your car will be a lot slower than usual. In some situations, you'll also get a check engine light with misfire codes. You can read these codes with a scanner. I'll leave a great one I use and works for me in the description below. This happens when the head gasket's torn and unable to hold compression for the combustion chamber. Compression is super important for the engine to perform its best. Without it, your car will be at a loss of power. A quick way to see if you have a bad head gasket is to do a combustion leak test. It's super easy to do, I'll leave the kit in the description below. Now if your car is old with a lot of miles and the repair costs you more than what the car is worth, then you can buy a head gasket sealer. This could get your car going for a couple of years before you buy a new one. Now if you guys want to see the symptoms of a bad intake manifold gasket then click here.